Hello guys, my name is Ligia Alter, I am a postgraduate student here at the University of Glasgow and today we're going to talk a little bit about the academic writing. So, the Glasgow University is kind of famous for having a large number of international students and it's also famous for being one of the best universities in the UK. So, these two things, they work together but they kind of don't sometimes because these students from other countries that don't have English as their mother tongue or as their main language may experience some difficulties when they have to write essays or when they have to do exams, which is what kind of happened to me. And if you come from a country that doesn't have English as your main language and you never did another higher education program uh, in English, you may experience those things as well. So here I want to give you a few tips on how you can improve your academic writing and how you can get, you know, good results, good grades, but also enjoy the course and not worry too much about not being able to be a good student. So let's hear the tips. So the first tip I'm going to give you may sound cheesy or may sound too obvious, but is one of the most important ones. That is, don't put a lot of pressure on yourself in the beginning. You have to understand that things may be a little bumpy at the start, okay? It's part of it. It's part of the experience of doing a course in another language, of coming to another country and meeting new people and understanding how the course works in the UK, okay? So don't put a lot of pressure on yourself, especially because if you don't get the best grade or the grade you are aiming for, at the beginning, this may kind of um, make you disencouraged for the next assignments. And you don't want to feel like that because, trust me, I've been through this. I am very hard on myself uh, when it comes to grades. And I know that like we have to have good grades so we can maybe apply for a graduate visa or maybe because uh, our future jobs kind of like look into our grades. But honestly, worry about this right now. Experiencing and learning and yes, everything will be fine even if you don't get the best grade at the beginning. Okay, respect your time to adjust. Second tip is only like if you feel comfortable doing this, especially if you have friends coming either from the United States or even from the UK, you could ask them if you feel comfortable and if you think they'll feel comfortable as well to share their their works on pro in progress with you. So after I got my bad grades, I was like, okay, I have to have uh, an example of what I should be doing because I clearly am doing something different from what they're requiring requiring me. So what I did was I asked two of my friends, one that lives in England and the other one comes from the UK from the US. So I asked them if they could send me their essays so I could take a look and understand if I was going the right way. And I honestly got very lucky because these friends from my course and the people from my course are really nice and they are really supportive so they didn't like it's not that you're gonna copy their work because this is impossible but they were really helpful and they gave me tips. Uh, I sent them my essays so they could read over and tell me if they thought something was missing which was very very helpful so the second tip is basically like trust your friends and try to share works so you can compare but not with uh, like a competition kind of thing no just to mainly support one another um, when you are going through the same experiences basically okay the third tip is talk to your professor. So you can email them or you can set a meeting in person. But honestly, like the professors are here to help you. The professors are here to be professors. And one of their tasks, one of their duties with the student is to be helpful, to help, to help the student understand what he or she has to do okay or don't be worried that you're gonna bother your professor I know that they also have other students that they also have other things apart from the university apart from your classes but you know if you need help then someone will have to help you and usually it is the professor's job so don't feel afraid don't feel embarrassed of like your professor thinking you're 
not good enough to be in the course, you know, that doesn't exist. Everyone is in the course to learn and honestly, you don't have anything to lose when you email your professor. All right, fourth and maybe the last tip, I think. There are a lot of programs and classes and workshops for academic writing, especially for international students. So you have this class called LEADS, it's spelled um, L-E-A-D-S, all caps, and it's an online learning workshop <laughs> that you'll find tips and lessons about how to write a good essay. The university really assists students with this. And this is not only for essays, but also for dissertation, because it, you know, is a big piece of writing. So they have this big dissertation workshops that you can get tips on how to work, on how to start your research and everything. So it's very, very helpful. And if you get a bad grade or if you feel lost, don't feel afraid to to use those resources, you know, they're there for a reason. So yes, and I think like the last tip would be try to enjoy the writing, the process, the ride, you know. Uh, sometimes we forget why we started the course, honestly. At least I speak for myself and I know I speak for a lot of people, okay? Let's be honest here. Doing a postgraduate or even an undergraduate program, it is hard, you know, it is a lot. So you have the right to feel like frustrated sometimes or feel lost, but try to remember why you started the course. Try to remember why you came here, you know, this will help you to keep going and try to choose topics that you know you like, that you feel passionate about. Uh, because this will definitely help you with your academic writing. Uh, okay, so I guess this is the video for today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. I have my personal channel and I have my both of my other social media accounts that I'll leave here. Uh, so you guys can go and follow me and if you want to talk, I'm there for you to talk. I hope you have a lovely day and good luck on your studies. And yeah, see you next time.